So you've been sort of both uh, an ins. I guess you're a classic insider outsider mm -hmm. in tech. Um, what did you make of it when you first got involved in in the mid '80s, and how has the tech industry changed in the you know almost 40 years since you've been in it, or 35 years? Well, it was an incredibly exciting place to be. And tech, look, I love tech, and I keep hoping that tech, not unlike how I feel about this country, will live up to its promise. And I don't think either tech has lived up to its promise, and I don't think America has lived up to its promise. Um, and so we want to bring those things together. In that's what fuels a lot of what we do. Um, but tech has always been, tech's about what could be. Um, and that's what I love about it. I like that. So tech is what could be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Explain that a little bit more. Well, it is, one of the things I love about with my Cape War Capital hat on or with my Smash hat on is when you talk to our teenagers in Smash Academy um, and they're learning computer science and they're doing uh, their engineering design projects and you ask them to think about ways in which tech could solve real problems in their communities and their schools. And they've got a zillion ideas and they're great ideas. And the same thing, when entrepreneurs come in and pitch us at Cape or Capital and we ask them, who's this going to benefit? How's this going to close a gap of access or opportunity or outcome? And those things are really exciting. And technology gives the possibility of scaling. Silicon Valley companies are willing to take risks, right? They're really risk savvy. I take calculated risks. But they're so averse to taking risks in the hiring process. And that's purely an excuse, right? You really, if you want to create an initiative and you want to take an extra level to see what it's going to be like hiring somebody that's not necessarily from you, your top schools or like everybody else, that is a calculated risk that has a lot of potential benefit, right? But people are making all kinds of excuses on why they can't do that. And I think that has to change. One of the jobs of Silicon Valley is putting people out of work. And that's really sad. It's optimization. And, and that's not even a discussion. We talk about creating jobs. And I read about Silicon Valley creating jobs. But anybody who's been in the Valley knows we're all about reducing redundancy. So I think it's about the larger conversation. It's not just the result. And it's great that there are large companies that have programs to solve these problems. But it's like, how are these happening for, from the start? And I think from a founder entrepreneur level, when you talk about seed stage, companies are so just in the survival stage, they don't think. Mm -hmm. They pull their friends in. So yes, there's a bite. There's, they pull in people they know. So there's never a, con a, a, a point where saying, oh, well, we, we don't think. We just, they don't think about it. And I think the other thing is, is that politics and tech have long been like a hot potato. It's like those issues don't want to be discussed. We don't want to deal with it. We have a company to run. We have a technology to create. And so I think that's how you get to kind of where we are. I think we really need to think about the companies that are being built and how the technology is being used.